Hi, I'm Chris Gumas. Welcome back to Ruin's installation series. Today we're going to cover how to install a control flex coupling. There are two types of control flex couplings, single and double insert. As you can see, this is a single insert. The only difference in our install instructions is going to be the distance between the hub ends that we recommend. To perform the installation, we'll need a scale, hex key, torque wrench, calipers, and obviously our control flex coupling. And we always wear our PPE. I'll see you on the install. Check that the shaft misalignment is within the parameters of the coupling. I'm doing this with a scale. However, you can also do it with a dial indicator or a laser system. Place hubs on the shaft freely with the pins facing each other. Place an insert with standoffs facing the pins of the first hub you will install. Position the hub to the end of the shaft with the shaft penetrating past the clamp screw. Verify the insert has clearance from the shaft end and install the first hub with a torque wrench. Align and join the pins of the second hub with the holes of the insert. Verify space between hubs is correct. I'm doing this with calipers. This is a very critical step to ensure that the coupling performs as expected in the application. Once that's done, hand tighten with the hex key. As you can see, I'm holding both hubs to try to keep that hub spacing correct. Finish tightening the assembly with a torque wrench. Once more, I'll verify that hub spacing just to be sure that nothing moved as I was completing the installation. If your spacing happens to be off, loosen and repeat install of the second hub. 